Hey, Mom. Long time no see. How have you been holding up? Why are you responding like that? Aren't you supposed to be all excited to see my text? Jeez, it feels like forever since we last hung out. Probably like a solid three years ago, right? Time really flies. Anyway, it's been way too long. I can't believe I didn't message you sooner. My bad. Yeah, I think it's been around three years. So what's up with the sudden message? Did something happen? Wait, seriously? Did you actually forget? It's my birthday this month. Oh, really? I guess I wasn't really keeping track of the date. Congratulations on being two years late to my birthday. Yeah, you totally missed out on last year's big event. And the year before that, too. But hey, don't worry. I'm feeling generous this year. You better make up for your epic fails and throw me a party that combines all three birthdays. And let's not forget about the presents, shall we? I'll be waiting for three presents, one for each missed birthday. Three years worth of presents? You must be joking. Hey, uh, how about we hang out at Dad's place? Sounds good to you. Just give me a shot when you arrive, all right? Hey, hold up a sec. I never agreed to any of this. And you can't just pop in and start bossing me around. I'm not going. Plain and simple. Oh, so you have audacity to make plans for this weekend? Cancel them. When it comes to your child, you better prioritize me above everything else. I don't care how important your other plans are. They can wait. I'm the one who truly matters. I don't actually have any plans or stuff going on. But why do I have to go out of my way to celebrate your birthday? It's not like you can just pop out of the blue after years of silence and expect me to drop everything for you. And now you're demanding three gifts to make up for three missed birthdays? That's just shameless. I never thought I'd see the day when you turned into such a greedy brat. It doesn't matter if you and dad got divorced because you're still my mom. Nothing can change that fact. Got it? Let me remind you of something. A parent is supposed to celebrate their child's birthday. It's not some optional thing. It's your responsibility. Well, I'll give you this much. I am the one who brought you into this world. However, I don't really see you as my kid anymore, to be honest. So that's why I have zero intentions of celebrating your birthday as your mom. Are you for real right now? What kind of parent says something like that? Just because you're divorced doesn't mean you can suddenly stop being a parent. It doesn't work that way. You can't just decide you don't want the responsibility anymore. Hey, let's not forget what went down back then, okay? When we got divorced, you took your dad's side and kicked me out of the house. The two of you didn't hold back on blaming me for everything. I'll be honest, I'll never forgive either of you for that. So excuse me if I don't feel the need to celebrate the life of a kid who treated me like trash and left me hanging. Come on, don't be like that. Why are you still holding on to that anger? It happened three years ago, Mom. Can't we move past this and focus on building a better relationship? No matter how many years go by, that day's pain and suffering ain't never gonna disappear. It's draining to think about how you both teamed up with dear old dad and unleashed those nasty words on me. You deserve to be cheated on. You're only good for cooking, you hag. Just leave right now. Dad deserves better. I have no idea what you're going on about. You're saying I actually said that? Because I don't remember uttering those words. Not even a little bit. Look, I get you're all worked up and ticked off. But are you sure you're not blowing this way out of proportion? That memory is etched in my brain like it happened just yesterday. I can't forget the way you both gave me those cold, heartless stares, looking down on me like I was nothing. And when you dumped all my stuff at the front door, at that moment, I couldn't help but wonder how much longer I had to endure this miserable situation. It's time to let go of the past and move forward, you know? No point in dwelling on all that old stuff. But hey, here's an idea. Let's take a positive step towards making things right. How about we kickstart that by celebrating my birthday? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I couldn't care less about your birthday. It doesn't even register on my radar. I don't see you as my daughter anymore. So you gotta stop thinking of me as your mom. We're clearly not on the same wavelength. 
So let's just call it quits right here. That's all you wanted to hear, right? We're done. Hey, Luna. Mia told me what happened. She said she messaged you about her birthday and you flipped out on her. She said you refused to come out and celebrate her birthday. Of course. Look what the cat dragged in. I should have expected you'd be next. Do you know what you've done? You're the crappiest mom ever. Mia's been holed up in her room crying nonstop all because of you. I don't really care about her. I'm a divorced woman. So I'm not the kid's mother anymore. What the heck are you saying? Even if we got divorced, you're still her mother. And you won't even do the bare minimum and celebrate her birthday. It's the least you can do to make her happy. Don't you feel sorry for her? She's already had to experience so many birthdays without her mom by her side. If that's the case, you can just do it for me. You can represent the both of us. You can throw a lavish party for her since you're the parent with custody. Of course I want to do all of that for her. But I can't do it all by myself, you know. There's only so much that I can do. We haven't really been in contact for a while, so I never told you this, but I actually got married to the other woman. The one I had an affair with all those years ago. And actually... She also has a kid from her previous marriage. We got pregnant and had twins that were born this year. I've got a nice big family now. But on the flip side, we've really got our hands full with the kids, especially with the twins still really young. I feel really bad about it, but now's not really a good time to be going out for Mia's birthday. Oh, and what's that got to do with me? You said you have kids with that woman. And you have the audacity to go to me for help? I know I just dropped a big bomb on you, and I get it. I would be a little taken aback if I were you. But if you're worried about how Mia's been adjusting to all of this, she's doing fine. I asked her what she thought about it, and she didn't mind at all, so I remarried. But as for having twins, it was totally unexpected. We didn't think that we would end up having two kids, so our finances are really being stretched thin. We're barely holding on here. It's like I blinked, and then all of a sudden, we were a family of six. Having to deal with so many kids is definitely tough. I'm sure it's hard to catch a break between taking care of all of them. That's why this year, I really want to make it up to Mia for all that she's had to go through these past couple of years. I have to give her the best present ever, because she deserves it. That's why I want you to celebrate her birthday with her this year, instead of all of us. I think that it would make it extra special, and I know it would mean the world to her. I understand your situation, and I definitely empathize with you. But I think you're completely missing the point here. Your problems aren't my problems. Or did you forget that we're divorced? So don't keep on dragging your ex-wife into problems you should be dealing with on your own. Hey, you don't have to be so cold-hearted about it. I'm sure I can gather up some spare funds to buy a cake for Mia. You can take care of her present. I can't possibly afford a gift for her. She's got expensive tastes. She keeps talking about how she wants an iPhone, AirPods, and clothes that cost a fortune. There's no way I can get those things for her. What do I look like to you? A bank? As her mother, this is the least you can do for her. And she's been a good kid, looking after the twins for me when I need her to. She's always working so hard. She deserves something good. Doesn't she at least deserve to have the best birthday? This is the least you can do? You talk as if I have a quota to meet. And who's counting? You? I don't care about you and your expectations. I'm not going to celebrate that kid's birthday. And I'm definitely not wasting my money or buying her a gift. You could have just said no. There's no need to be all rude about it. But put yourself in my shoes for a second. I'd rather not. I told you. I get it. But I don't care. Don't expect me to help out. I'm the ex-wife that you kicked out just in case you'd forgotten. You think you can still ask me for favors after what you did to me? Do you know how humiliating it is for me to have to ask you for help? I'm asking you just this once because I really do need it. All I'm asking is that you take her out for her birthday this year. That's all. You're her mother for God's sake. Can't you do it just this once for her? If you want, you can just buy her a birthday present and give it to her. You don't even have to say anything. You don't even have to tell her happy birthday. Why are you the only one that gets to live your life like you never had a kid? I won't just let you ditch your responsibilities. It doesn't matter if we're divorced or if I kicked you out. You're still Mia's mother. Hey mom, I waited forever for you. 
Why didn't you come? You promised you'd spend my birthday with me today. I don't know why you're getting all worked up. I never even said that I'd go. In fact, I made it quite clear that I wasn't going. How could you do this to me? Is that really something a mother would say? What kind of mother are you to not even celebrate your daughter's birthday? Says the one who tossed her mother aside. I already said that I'm sorry. Oh, I know. Here's what we'll do. You can come back and be part of the family again. And then, once that happens, we'll celebrate my birthday as a big family again. Huh? What are you talking about? If I'm being honest, we should have done this since the beginning. I was thinking it wouldn't be bad if you'd say it anyways. I wouldn't say I'm particularly close to my stepmom. Man, she and Dad have been fighting a whole bunch lately. I think it would be better if things went back to the way it was before. Are you being serious? Do you seriously think I would want that? You've got to come back, Mom. My stepmom's really horrible. Since our family went from four to six overnight, Dad's been working so hard to provide for us. And then my stepmom thinks she's so important and thinks she can tell Dad what to do. She's always like, you should work more over time and even work a side gig on Saturdays to help out more. I get that it must be hard on him to be constantly working. Unfortunately, though, all of that has nothing to do with me. We're already divorced, so it's not my problem. What are you talking about? It does have something to do with you. This involves me and I'm your kid. They want to work me to the bone here. I'm sure it's not that bad. It is that bad. It's only getting worse. They started talking about how I should help out with paying for the house and even get a part-time job. They want me, a high school student at the peak of her youth, to work? Isn't that a horrible thing for them to do? Your family is having a hard time with finances, so it makes sense for you to contribute. Isn't a family supposed to help each other out? What family? You're definitely not talking about that woman and that kid she brought along, are you? They told me to get a job, just me, not that hag or her kid. Mmm, that's a bit unfair. And compared to me, he's older. He's a college student, so he has plenty of time to work part-time. And then all that Hag says is, My darling boy is so brilliant and so smart. Studying takes up all of his time. It's practically his job. It's enough. If silly little Mia gets a job, I'm sure she has nothing better to do. That sounds a bit unfair. Right? She's such a witch. And that's not all. There's more to it. She bought her kid a laptop for his birthday present, but she told me I would only be getting a ballpoint pen for my birthday. A pen? For my birthday? Can you believe it? Wow, that's brutal. Also, she makes me look after those stinky twins. Ugh, this is so irritating. I can't live like this. I want it to be like before. I want it to be just the three of us. You, me, and Dad. Sorry, but I'd rather not. Don't say that kind of stuff, Mom. Don't you remember all the good times? Each and every day was fun when you and me and Dad were all living together, right? Don't you miss it? You were always smiling. It looked like you had a lot of fun when we were together. Me? Smile? And you loved to do whatever me or Dad wanted just to make us happy. Even if people would call us selfish for it, you never said no and always had a grin in your face. A grin? That's far from how I remember it. For me, all I remember is that it was a living hell being with the two of you. What? I cried from being abused by the two of you. I felt so powerless because there was nothing I could do to pull myself out of that situation. Just cry. I had to get away from both of you. And I can never forgive either of you for all the pain you caused me. For all the tears I cried because of you. They say that out of the whole family... The housewife is the first to wake up and the last to go to sleep. I wake up every morning at 4 a.m. and sleep at 2 a.m. late at night. But you are so used to that being your daily life. Don't you miss it these days? Why would I? You're living all alone now because of the divorce. So I'm sure you must have missed me and died a little bit. After being with us for so long, you must have realized how important we are to you. They do say distance makes the heart grow fonder. Who missed who now? I'm your daughter, so I totally get how you feel. I know that deep, deep down, you miss your selfish daughter. I'll save you from loneliness, don't you worry. 
The three of us will be a happy family once again, so you don't need to miss us anymore. I already got remarried, so stop pestering me about it. We'll never be a family ever again. Remarried? I don't miss a single thing about you two. It was like a breath of fresh air being abandoned by the two of you. And every day, I'm able to breathe clearer and better. The air is no longer stifling. I've got somebody right beside me that values me and cherishes me. So sorry, but things will never go back to the way that they were before. I don't understand. You got remarried? When? To who? I got married last year. My husband is a very sweet and wonderful man. Your father doesn't even hold a candle to him. Seriously? No way. How could you be so selfish and get married to someone else? You have dad. I'm sure he's way better than anyone you can find out here. Why would you even think about marrying some other guy? Your father and I got divorced. Why should he be allowed to remarry and not me? I mean, for a while I was fine with just living on my own. But then I bumped into my now husband. Meeting him was so wonderful. He brings me so much joy every single day I'm with him, and he makes me feel really appreciated. No, you must be lying. Well then, what about Dad and I? Are you just going to toss us aside and forgot we exist? What about you two? I thought that if I asked Dad, you'd come back and live with us. What about me and what I want? I told you I don't care anymore. What kind of response is that? As a mom, you're so irresponsible. Aren't you two the irresponsible ones here? Anyways, doing whatever you want with no consideration for others. Like how you kicked me out of the family. Since you're the ones that kicked me out, please don't ever contact me again. I don't want to hear from either of you, and I don't want you dragging me into your problems either. Hey, Luna, did you really get married again? I heard about it from Mia. Yeah? So what? You got remarried yourself. It shouldn't be a big deal that I'd want to get remarried. I mean, it's fine, I get it. But don't you think it would at least be nice to let your ex-husband know about it? Excuse me? I'm not obligated to tell you anything about my life anymore. Why don't you tell me you wanted to congratulate me and send well wishes? No, that's not it. Then I don't need to tell you anything. Oh yeah, and on that note, don't you ever contact me again. No, Luna, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Just hear me out for a second, please. I still have something I want to talk more about with you. Um, well, let me see. I just wanted to confirm something with you. Do you have a kid now with your new husband? If you two are open to having a kid of your own, then I'm sure he'd be okay with a kid from your previous marriage. Anyways, just tell me if you have another kid already. I don't know what you're getting at by asking such a question, but as of now, no, I don't have another kid. At present, I'm not really thinking about having another kid. Oh, really? No kid? So why'd you ask, huh? That was kind of a creepy thing to ask. So, like, since you don't have your hands full with a new kid, if you don't mind, can Mia come live with you? Are you crazy? I get that you two newlyweds are having a lot of fun, but it must be lonely to have no kids. So that's why I'll let you two have custody of Mia. Custody? Who says I want custody? If I'm being honest, I'm having a tough time over here. If I had one less kid to worry about, it would help our finances a whole bunch. You think I'd want to help you out? It'll put our finances in a better place. And I'm sure having Mia with you would brighten up the place and make your house a bit more lively. It's a win-win situation. Both of us can get something out of it. What exactly would I be winning? You just want to get rid of Mia and dump all responsibility on me. You're still the father of some other kids, but you'd abandon Mia? My hands are tied. I'm in a really tough spot here. Even a father could only endure so much before he can't take it anymore. And I've worked hard enough. So now it's your turn to put in some work and be her mom. I'm tired of this. You can't tell me what to do. Even Mia keeps telling me that she wants to go and be with you. So you should do what your daughter wants. I'll go ahead and drop Mia off at your place right now. You should be overjoyed. This will be the first time you've seen her in years. I am absolutely not taking her in. 
I'll notify the police right away if you do show up. You wouldn't. Mia is already a high school student, so she's all grown now. But she's still a minor. If you bring her here, the cops will deal with this as a case of child abandonment. Don't you think you're being too sensitive? I wonder what would happen if I did that. You'd probably be charged for abandoning your responsibility as her guardian. Okay, I get it already. So you understand fully well what would happen if I notified the police? If you still plan on bringing her here, you better be prepared to get dragged away by the police. Wait, hold on. I just wanted to hand over custody to you. Why do you need to call the cops on me? I don't want custody over that kid. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't want anything to do with either of you? Don't use me to get rid of one mouth to feed. Please, no. I barely have enough to cover our expenses. The way things are right now, I can't even provide her or any of the kids a decent environment to grow up in. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for cheating on you, and I'm sorry about the divorce. So please, I'm begging you, can't you help me out as your former spouse? Absolutely not. I don't care about whatever troubles you're having with your family of six. That has nothing to do with me. So just keep your issues to yourself. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. I don't care. I'm done with you. Mom, please. Please don't abandon me. I promise I'll be good and help around the house. Just don't leave me here. You're the only one I can turn to. Please save me. You got to get me out of here. What's going on? I can't live here anymore. Even Dad's being distant towards me. I can't live in this house anymore. He's like, you just existing in this house is such a hindrance. He yells at me and only looks at me like he wishes I didn't exist. To think he would treat his own daughter so coldly. I didn't think he could sink so low like this. I hate it here. My stepmom thinks she's my boss and is forcing me to get a job. And then when I complain to dad about it, he yells at me, shut up. Living here is like living in hell. Yeah, but isn't that the mom and dad you chose to be with? You made your decision. So deal with it. You have to suck it up and help out. There's no way I can take it anymore. Mom, I want to live with you again. I promise I'll be on my best behavior and get along with your new husband. So please, please save me, Mom. Get me out of here. Please, come pick me up. No way. I do pity you, but that's all you're going to get from me. This has nothing to do with me anymore. No, you're lying. This isn't the time to be joking around, Mom. Do you really mean that? I do, because I don't think of you as my daughter anymore. I told you this already. Mom, don't say that kind of stuff. I'm really, really sorry about before. I'm sorry I'm being so selfish. And I'm sorry that I took Dad's side and kicked you out of the house. So please, I'm begging you. Let me stay with you, please. You're starting to sound like a broken record. No matter how many times I say it, you're just not getting it. Sorry, but I'm blocking you. What? No! Mom! Don't do this! I already told your father this. I don't want you dragging me into your mess anymore. Well, best of luck to you, Mia. You're lying, right? Hey, Mom! Hello? Did you really block me? But I'm your daughter! You can't do this to me! Mom, answer me! I'll be good, I promise! Please, don't abandon me! After all that drama, things finally calmed down once I blocked both Mia and my ex-husband Hayden. These days, Mia's working part-time after school. As soon as she's off work though, they make her head straight home and take care of the twins for the rest of the day. And get this, once she graduates high school, they're not even letting her go to college. They're telling her to start hunting for a full-time job right away. Talk about a bummer, right? On the other hand, Hayden's taken up a side gig on Saturdays to try and improve their financial situation. Meanwhile, his wife stubbornly refuses to work, claiming that with four kids, she's too swamped already. She goes on about how she's busy every day just making meals for everyone. But honestly, her meals are more like tiny side dishes. 
barely filling snacks. Sounds like both Mia and Hayden are reaping what they've sown, if you ask me.